There you go, Norm. Oh. Hey, I'm at the gym, but Father, we thank you and praise you for your glory and your, your spirit that is already dwelling in us. Let us all come into one mind, one accord. Step into the glory right now, into your realm where you're at, where you want to take us and show us all things and lead us to all truth. We thank you and we step in in three, two, one, we're stepping in. Thank you, Norm. How? Oh. I'm seeing truth. Truth, the word, truth. Okay, awesome. I see glory too. I see the word glory and truth. Glory and truth. I saw fireworks and have a, a expectation, anticipation of excitement and butterflies in my stomach. Wow. Okay. I saw um, like Mary Poppins, like going up with the umbrella, like holding an umbrella. And we were floating like Mary Poppins. I love Mary Poppins. I saw laughter. It's almost like Dorothy and the Wizard of Oz take me home with the red shoes, but the red shoes are riding on the rainbow. <laughs> I just heard we all need magnifying glasses to see more. <laughs> yeah. Um, the magnifying glass also um, is... You know, on computers, when you tap on something, you enter into it, you go into it, and the next thing pops up. Mm -hmm. That's also the magnifying glass. Could you say that again, Anne? Okay. Um, when you touch something on your computer, that a link, a, a hyperlink, isn't that what it's called, a hyperlink? So there's something on your computer, you touch a certain area because you want to go deeper into the next thing. It's called a hyperlink. Oh, yeah, yeah. So that's what um, the magnifying glass is, is a hyperlink. I, yeah. I, I mean, I, I'm sure it's more than that, but that's a huge, no, that's good. That's a yeah. huge thing that it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah an expansion of something so you're expanding the yes yeah. you go in and expand yeah exactly yes and i opened my mouth and it something did expand out it was like a blowing um um a bubble gum and it formed a balloon and I just sailed up something like Mary Poppins ascending into a different realm. Exactly. I'm getting the Hebrew letter, hey. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> yeah, that's the key, that's the letter. I like it now. I think we're supposed to step into hay. The hay represent is it the heaven to earth? I re I, I I resonate with that, and it's the breath. It's the breath. Yes, it's the breath. Yeah, and I. And I'm in agreement with you, Anne, about stepping in it. Let's all breathe. Let's all take a deep breath in faith and step into it. It moves us higher, doesn't it? Like the wind. Yes.
And since we stepped in, uh, I've seen, I've, I immediately saw a yellow body of water, but this oh, okay. bright lemon yellow. This is going to sound weird, but I actually, um, when we stepped into hay, it, it was like um, a suction tube that went up. And when I asked the Lord, where are we going? I all of a sudden breathed in, but I saw his nose and he said, I'm breathing you into my nostrils. <laughs> and then you said yellow. And I was like, are those boogers? No. <laughs> but I really did. Like, that's what I saw was like this big, huge nose. <laughs> it was like I'm breathing you in. And I... I had something similar earlier this week where he said that it was like uh, when we burn up all the fleshly junk in our lives, it's like an incense for him, like Whoa. it's the sacrifice. So anyway, just want to put mm. that out there. And it's sweet smelling to his nostrils and wow. it must, be, we must smell like lemon. Mm-hmm. Yellow, bright lemon. Mm. I don't know about anybody else, but my breath in got very clean. Wow. You guys take a deep breath and see if you don't feel a uh, cleansing, I don't know, a cleaner, uh, easier to breathe, um, strengthen your breath. Earlier I was muted, but I, um, I saw on our exhale, it was like what Ann was talking about it, like hitting that hyperlink and it takes you into a new realm and it's yes. expanded and it's deeper and there's there's more yes on the exhale i saw that on the inhale as well. okay joy engine got switched on <laughs> big time <laughs> <laughs> I love it
I feel like I'm riding this joy and just floating around in this cosmos somewhere. <laughs> it's like it's carrying me around and I can see, see into the darkness. I don't know what I'm looking at, but I'm seeing different directions into the darkness. I get carefree, free mm. of care. Okay. You heard that word or saw it, Donna? I, in my spirit said carefree. And then the word that came to me, it was free of care. Just as Barbara was laughing. Yeah. Because uh -huh. <laughs> that's where we need to get. I mean, honestly, mm -hmm. that's, that's where we need yeah. to get. I agree. And that is the rest. Mm -hmm. That is the rest. Yeah. <laughs> I, I saw, saw, I saw yeah. when you said yellow. Yeah. And I've been sitting here and I, I, don't, I didn't want to share it. And then everything that you're saying, like going deeper, was like confirming it. But I saw, when you said yellow, I saw like... God said there's like a sunset and a sunrise upon oh. the waters. And we are living water. I mean, we wouldn't live if our, all our cells are filled with water. Yes. We wouldn't be alive without water. And it's like he wanted to fill us with the sun, the sunshine. And so then when somebody said, you know, the nose... I'm like, oh yeah, the sun, you know? He wants us to enter in and he, going deeper. Yeah, he wants us not to just oh, go yes. on top of the water. He wants us to dive into the water. And it's something we never did before. We, maybe we haven't walked on the water, we haven't done it, but he wants to take us there. And it's, it's the sun, it's the light and we need more light. Yes, yes. That's really good. That's what, to I was, see, yeah. that's what I was looking for, probably in the darkness. Looking that's around. what I think too, Barbara. Yeah. I agree. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> and something that was a key for me shifting Ooh. into last year when I shifted into this new awakening, there were two phrases that kept coming out of me when I would pray for people that was from the spirit. Darkness is as light to me. Mm -hmm. And as yes. he is, so am I in this world now. Those were two keys to that opened up that next place for me. And okay. so that's come back around in this last week is I've heard it a lot. All darkness right. is like light to me. Yes. So what, what the, was the it? The light is in darkness and the darkness knows it not. So you still, if the light is in the darkness and the darkness knows it not. And so we're not afraid to be in light in the dark. Can I can I say something about darkness and light? Yes. Mm -hmm. Um I always could see darkness, you know, and I always thought it was an issue. I thought maybe this is a long time ago, y'all. I thought it was an issue because I thought, well, why can't I see it? Because there see it, right? And it kind of very subconscious, but Oh, Anne, you froze. Yeah. Can you out of my head and said, and he said, and only in my. Hmm. Hold on a minute. We'll wait till she. We and we. Oh, and we didn't hear you. The the computer froze, so we didn't really hear anything that you. Oh, okay. Just... I can. Can you hear me now? Yes. Okay. So years ago, I mean, decades ago, I always had an issue because I could always, I could always sense darkness. I always knew I would see it. Okay. Yeah. I could see darkness. And so I thought I was the problem. I thought I had a problem. It was very subconscious. And um, at some, at a certain point, God got really sick of me not understanding that. And he brought light 
to it, haha. Ha. And he said, <laughs> only in my holy light is the darkness made known or manifest, okay? Hmm. The church, early church father, Tertullian, I don't know anything about him except for this one statement. He gets credit for that statement. But, and then the Lord put it in my language. He said, and he said, um, let me think exactly how he said it. Expect to see darkness. You're going to see it. You're only in my light. Will you see it? Those in darkness don't see the darkness. Mm -hmm. And from then on, I really almost like, I, I like very quickly didn't have a problem with it anymore. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's funny. Um, um, that's funny, Jessica. That kind of goes with that two things beside each other that your daughter. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, both parts side by side. <laughs> Yeah, yeah and, like, he, and he, there's a scripture about that, mm -hmm. you know, just, about the darkness quickly. that's within. How dark is that light? How how dark is the dark? You know, for yeah. those that are in darkness, and then for those who are in light, light is is darkness, and darkness is light because it's all Him. Yes, and so with only in the light will you see that darkness. That it's it's so true. Yeah, right. Right. it's like you can't see the darkness unless you know the light. You won't recognize it as dark. Right. You won't, you won't even. Yeah. Well, I kind of see there's two darknesses. I okay. see that there's like the mystery of God, the, that hidden yeah. dark. Yes. And then, you know, this other darkness that we really don't have to give a whole lot of um, attention mm -hmm. to, but you know what I'm saying? Well, we yeah. can so see, I I see know. it twofold. Well, I know one thing that moves faster than light darkness as it flees <laughs> <laughs> that's good that's good hmm. Hmm. Does anybody else have a sense that uh, just what what uh, Mandy said is that we might need to um, go after darkness and claim that uh, territory they just abandoned and seal it for the holiness Woo! of God's kingdom and it's part of the restoration process that as we move forward and darkness flees and we move forward and claim that vacuum they left behind and fill it with the glory and I just wonder if anybody else has that sense I think you just did it, Barbara. Okay. <laughs> By saying it. Uh huh. I agree, Barbara. Oh, thank you, Sharon. I agree. So huge. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> do you remember the um ascension when we were stirring up the glory we're out in the cosmos and we were just sort of yeah circling yeah. around in there yeah. well i feel like tonight we're supposed to go in and establish the glory not just stir it up but go and restore it because god says his glory shall cover the earth yes Diane, do you have something to share? <clears throat> I 
I think Barbara, that will open up more like mm -hmm. exactly how that, that is to happen. I just feel like that oh, he wants us to wait on him. That's yeah. why I'm getting that now. Yeah, I agree. I see us dancing with the glory. And as we're dancing, it's kind of like a waltz, but the light is radiating around us, you know, like a candle. But when you get someone else with another candle, the light gets bigger. So mm -hmm. as each one of us is doing this dance with the glory, the light's getting bigger and bigger and the darkness is crowding out. Ooh. I'm aware that I feel like we're in these bubbles, you know, when you blow like bubbles with those bubble, big bubble blowing machines. Mm -hmm. and bubbles just get bigger and bigger and bigger and it keep expanding. So I'm seeing like us rise up in these bubbles in the cosmos into the blackness and then the bubble keeps popping. And then hmm. another bubble and it's coming up. And as it reaches a certain height, the bubble pops. So the bubble itself is extremely light. So I don't know if we're taking like light up, as you're saying, Barbara, and like releasing it and popping it. Mm -hmm. I didn't think it was that until you mentioned that. And then it started to make a little bit of sense. But it's just continuous. It's expanding back to that word expand or magnifying yeah. glass. It's just getting bigger and bigger and then it's rising and popping. Hmm. Thank you, Lord. Wow. Well, I seen when Barbara was talking about rolling the glory out on the earth, it was almost as a rainbow, like a, a, a luminary of a rainbow, I guess you could say, in essence. And then it turned red, white, and blue. It almost rolled up. Like when Barbara was talking about stirring up the glory, I could see the a luminary or an essence of like a rainbow entity, put it that way. It was like a flame looking like thing, but it had all the colors of the rainbow in it. And then it began to turn into red, white, and blue. And it turned to the right. It kind of rolled up in a swirl. And as I'm listening, I'm thinking, wow. And, I, you know, and Barbara was telling her story and then Avril came on talking about the bubble and up, up, and, and it's expanding. And I see this bubble start rolling. And it's almost like a stick is on each side of the bubble. And I'm thinking, Lord, what is that? That is just unrolling out. And as this thing unrolls out, I see this train. It's Ooh. almost as a train of the cloud of glory and it's just rolled out and cantillated. And as this complete bubble rolled this train out, then it started rolling with the clouds filling up. And it put me in the um, essence of in Daniel when they were describing the robe, how when the robe of the, is it the father that comes in, it fills the whole temple. Oh, and it's yeah. Oh. Rolling in as clouds of glory. And I mean, literally wow. upon row and then it's coming back up the row and going down the row. And, and now it's full of all this stuff. It's just full and it's just on layer upon layer. Oh. You see this in the cosmos, Mandy? I'm going to tell you, I don't know exactly where we're at. Wherever the position we were at, I seen almost like a luminary, but it was a rainbow. But it looked like a little fiery rainbow in this area that I'm in. It's, I'm in an expanse. Yeah. Yeah. But this little flame entity of the of the thing that turned to the USA when it was talking about when Barbara was, Barbara was talking about in the cosmos when y'all were stirring the glory. And that's when I seen the flame come up as a rainbow, but it was a flame. And then it turned red, white, and blue. And then it turned sideways, twirling up as a fruit roll up in essence. And I thought, oh, this is gonna be wild. And we're talking about, we're waiting on the Lord. And I thought, who's gonna roll this one out across the land, you know? And then Avril talks about this bubble blowing bigger and bigger. And I'm like, oh, wow. 
and I see this bubble coming out on a stick and I'm thinking, oh, that's the fruit roll up. Nope, it's a bubble and it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger and it goes on the side and it starts rolling. And then I see the the room, almost, it puts me in the scripture of the, the train filling the temple, the, yeah. the glory. And I mean, it was just rolled out and rolled up and rolled out and it's coming in and filling the whole area in forms of clouds of glory, literally. Wow, wow, wow. Uh, I was listening to some... Um, I just had on YouTube this morning while I was working with some random um, worship music who I didn't know who was singing. And they had the lyrics there. And in the back of my mind, I thought, what are they singing? And I turned around and the lyrics were on the screen. And the lyrics that I read that stood out so strongly were, it was something about the robe of the Lord being so long. My father's mm. robe is so long or something. And that's so weird that you just said that, Mandy. And I just remembered how that I turned from my work and I looked at the TV and I saw that line. I thought, that's a really weird line to sing. <laughs> yeah, you know why. Really long. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Beautiful. I'm wondering if the bubbles were just our transportation to get to this position, place, wherever it is. Yeah, the maybe. temple. Yeah. Well, I'm going to tell you, as the bubble that she was talking in the expanse got bigger and bigger, it turned to the side with almost like, you know, if you was rolling a big bubble or a wheel or something with two sticks, almost like a toy, but it rolled on in. And as it come in, the glory didn't come in until after the bubble in this huge expanse that Avril was talking about, Avril was talking about, till that came rolling on in here with these stick things. That's when the glory started. So I guess it came in after what Barbara said. We got. Wow. Wow. Hmm. wow. What are the stick things? What are the stick things you're talking about, Mandy? It was the bubble as it got huge, huge, huge. It almost like turned up on its side. It had two like little sticks, zeros and sticks, O's and sticks, oh. O's and sticks. They say the body's expanse. And it's funny because, uh, and wow, God, you're so good. And was talking about earlier that, um, the one that's real theological is a line. Um, one that lives in the spirit so much is circle, um, just kind of flowy. And I was listening to a guy that talks about meditation. He used to work for NASA. He's a health physicist, but also a, a, a scientist on quantum physics. He's actually out of Huntsville, Alabama, but he's on YouTube. And he, he, the guy, um, Kirby Delaro, Delaro, was referencing this guy, Tom Campbell, when Kirby was talking about the quantum eraser and the consciousness, the human consci consciousness of the human mind being able to go back and quantum entangle with God, how we physically can alter states. But he even goes into the fact of our human body is made of circles and sticks. Yeah, mm. zeros and one it's a code yeah. and it it goes to atoms and electrons so i was just like wow so then i see the circle and the stick come flowing in here and avril seen us in this big huge bubble and it comes flowing in and then the train of glory just wraps all up. wow glory yeah that's uh that you, when you when you have positive thoughts in your mind it releases creativity. They've already proven that by science. That that's why it says uh, pull down any thoughts that acknowledge themselves against the knowledge of God. Or, that's why we have to pull down the thoughts and take them captive, like immediately, because we are Elohim. We we we, we are God on Earth with God in us. So we have creativity in our bodies and our minds. And I've heard it also told by a guy teaching that that our mind is where, where God meets us in between the cherubim and, and we mm. were carried on two sticks and, 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 you know, our legs, you know, it's, it's like the Holy of Holies is a, it's, it's a secret place it's in your heart. And when you meet God in the secret place, that's when things happen and things change. And that's when you get more revelation and more glory and more, more peace and, you know, everything There's more, more of him basically. He says, I am peace, I am truth, I am life. And he's given us all things that pertain to life and godliness. We already have all this stuff. Sorry if I shared too much. I was just trying to share no, with no. some of heart. Oh, no, that's yeah. really good, Norm. Thank you. No, that, that was great. That was great, Norm. Much. That was so, that was good.
all this is good. It's all good. So when you go into a meditation and prayer, a lot of times what I'm being taught as of recently, thanks to Jessica and some other people, uh, your mind is, is, is say what you, you pray what you what you know God's will is, and you pray and already we already know what God's will is. We already know because we have the Holy Spirit in us, and. Uh, I don't know how to say it. We release creation out of our thoughts, our mind, our heart, and our words. It's so the eyes of our imagination, like Ephesians one. The imagination. Yeah. Yeah. What was the reference, Jessica? I mean, he said, "Take it like a child." Nobody Mm -hmm. can enter the kingdom unless they become like a child. And the biggest thing about a child, I've said it more than once, is their imagination. I sit there and watch my little boy play and, and my children play. When they're all alone, they got the biggest imaginations in the world, and we lose that when we get caught up in the things of this world. That's how we lose it. Focus on issues, focus on problems, instead of focusing, hey, God is in us. I mean, that, I mean, just, just soak on that for a second. God lives inside of us. Mm. Mm. yeah it's it's that's what i was sharing it with jill it's like that i finally (laughs) have been taught the ministry of reconciliation you know we've been given the power as sons of god to forgive sin and when we don't see somebody in their highest good the way that the father sees them which is not in their flesh not in their condition, not in their circumstances, but when we see them the way the father sees them, the way, because Jesus put everybody inside of him. And Paul says, we no longer see them in the flesh. We see them in, as we did Christ, but we now see them as in Christ. Like if we see them in God's highest intent, whole abundance, and we imagine that, then we are not only forgiving the sin, we're not leaving them in the condition we found them, but we're actually, uh, we're, we're creating a new ending, uh, a new, um, we're literally recreating um, God's highest intent for their circumstances, for their life and in, in accordance with his purposes and pleasure. And so it's powerful because we are the Elohim so um, we've been given the mind of Christ we are we have the mind of Christ so we're to see and we're rechanging day. their story yeah we're changing yeah. We're rewriting their story it's like well, transformation that's powerful yeah it's been very life that's transforming powerful. it's it's because we're observing them from the state of glory with the eyes yes. of christ and the mind of christ yes. from glory back like father does so then we're standing in righteous judgment when we make a judgment on them to dis- to discern how they are that is a righteous judgment in standing because it's from glory back and it does jessica you're absolutely right it allows once the righteous judgment is made it opens the doorway for the glory of god to purpose them and step them into the destiny that was given by god that's right, right. it's Amen. christ consciousness that's it boom yeah. and you can also go back going back in time i mean you know it ain't an accident you run into people and they tell you things in their past they tell you things about their life that 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 is god i mean with what we're discussing now we're learning that there is no time we're the only right. ones limited by time our bodies god's not limited by time so the fact that we can go back in time and release healing in their bodies in their minds in their hearts in their lives and and just it just destroys the trauma because the blood of jesus is powerful he, he saved us two thousand years ago before the foundations of the earth so we can go back and heal ourselves from the past as, as, all we gotta do is ask the father all things are possible that's one of the all things Anything that you can hope or imagine. I hope and I imagine. So there I, I can have it. Because uh, it's above all we ask for think by the power that works in it. Mm-hmm. Mm. So, I mean, they took studies of people that did prayer in 2000, and the people from 1996 were coming out of the hospital and they were praying in the past. 
I mean, science has proven what God's word told us thousands of years ago. Yeah. Science yeah. proves it by quantum physics, by rays of light, a wave, a wave of light, giving it a thought or not. And they do this with that scientist time. If, if you observe the wave of light, just like with our life, if we observe our life or anybody right now for what we see, we've collapsed that wave and that's what it is. But if we observe them from the final destination, which is the Christ like mind from the glory, the righteous judgment to observe them from light and, and not what we're seeing physically with our eyes now, but allow that wave to collapse and go forth so we can see with the spirit, not with the eyes of flesh. That's how we beat it. You let the wave go. It's uh, uh, it's observing and um, collapsing is what it is. It's observation and collapsing. And that gives us to tie it back into the Bible, the righteous judgment. It's the judgment that we judge with the Christ-like consciousness, the Christ-like mind. You can erase the past. We can quantumly right now in the present allow what happened in our past generation collapse it. We allow it to collapse, but what does the Bible say? Live as it's already done. Live in the future. Celebrate it in the future. Experience the emotions of the celebration of it in the future. Because if we truthfully believe that what we have is already done and we believe that all things are possible, then we live from that state, not from this. This is like a virtual reality to what we're going ahead to. And that's the what? Now phase. The adjective now, now. That means that, that, that's, 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 that's a place it. in time. That's right now. That's the yes. Father's righteous judgment because his is justice, mercy, and grace. Yes. Wow. And so Good that's judgment. us being like the Father as sons. And that Glory. answers your question about maturity as a son that you had at the beginning mm -hmm. before we taped. Is how do I, if I'm to be sure as a son and I'm to do stuff, you know, I'm to take the responsibility of it. It's never separate from him. It's as him being like the father. Yes. He always judges to life. He, father, always judges to life. And so Amen. that's what we do. We judge to life. I would like to tie this into what Mandy said about that train, you know, the white train. Um, I think I posted after last week a, a image on the um, chat, the messenger, about a person with arms raised and there was imposed in their heart realm uh, a white dove. And then out of that was this river of light that flowed out like a train. And I feel like, you know, what Norman is reminded us that all of that lives inside of us and we need to learn to release that. And as we release it from us, it like the train goes out and everywhere we go, we drag this train, it gets longer and longer and longer. As I don't know how to explain that, but it's like the, the light that we leave behind is, is like it, it's everlasting, it doesn't fade away. And so that as we keep going, we're, we're uh, making the train of our journey longer and longer, you know, the glory realm. Yeah. I, yeah. I don't oh know my how to goodness. explain it. That just came together for me when the Lord was showing me about Samson and the hair was the covering of the woman. It was her glory. Uh -huh. it almost, I don't know why, but for some reason, what you just said totally connected all of that for me. It was like the, the covering is the glory and the, the woman has a long hair. It's specifically stated um, about it being her glory, but I, I never really understood why, like it seemed random right, to right. me and why the woman would have the long hair, but the man would have whatever, why it was being brought up. But for some reason, it just connected for me with what you just said about the length of it, about the, how it stays behind, it flows behind. It's like that, uh, I don't know how, oh gosh, it, I know this is not making any sense. Did you um, post that picture? Could you repost it? I never saw it. Okay. Um, if I'll you try. can find it, if you can find it again, I would love to see it. And okay. when you say train, you're talking about like a wedding gown that has a long yes. train yes. behind it, not a choo-choo train. <laughs> right. Exactly. <laughs> I'll try to see. I'm not very good on this computer thing, but I'll try. I've got a little couple of sentences to read. Okay. 
I've been, yeah, that I frequency guess. book. I never got yeah. that. Do you like it? Yeah, there's that, that's a whole nother story. Anyway, I'll okay, tell you. Yeah, what were you gonna okay. share? Let the waves pass through you. Okay, I've been getting mm -hmm. this for about the last week. Let the waves pass through you. And that reminded me of when I lived in my old house a certain time, there were certain times where I could actually feel the waves pass through me. Okay. So I actually had had an experience with that. So, so I'm reading this waves continually move through you and the field of energy and consciousness of which you are a part. There are waves that bring new frequencies of energy and information. The same waves move energy and information away as they pass through you event waves often reach you before the event like lightning before thunder Ooh. and i felt led to read that yeah, that's and I'll, I'll type it in the chat in a little bit later yeah i'd like to to study that a little bit to catch it jessica you're muted I, we can't hear you the, I'm sorry, the, the way, like last week, last week, the glory, the, the joy, the waves of the joy that yeah. reverberated, that went out, it, were, like I said at the beginning of the conversation, a lot of people that didn't get it or couldn't enter in received that. It went out ahead of the event. So they're going to come into it because that, and I believe the same thing for that woman when Barbara and Mandy were all laughing up, laughing it up at church ministering that it, it may not have been understood at the time, but there's a frequency that's higher. It's it's like mm -hmm. if we get birthed out of love and joy, then if we're functioning in glory and joy and laughter, then we are being the father to people. Like we are literally like recreating their birth, like that frequency of the birthing yes. of the physical mm -hmm. intent of their life and their destiny yes. birthed in them and they don't even know it. And it's offensive to the natural mind, but, okay. but that's it's in the spirit it's happening whether they know it or not oh good thank you for that encouragement <laughs> Ooh. we're on fire tonight guys mm -hmm. glory that's the glory glory I think that's an expression of what Mandy saw in the spirit with the glory wrapping in and out and all around and rainbow mm -hmm. light around the particles of what circles and sticks. Is that what you called it? I got to, I got to read up on that stuff. That's fascinating to me. That's exactly what I'm getting. I'm just, I'm since Mandy spoke about that train, I'm seeing, I'm seeing it wrap around I'm almost picturing it like, you know, when you see the Aurora Borealis, the Northern Lights, how it comes down mm -hmm. like a train. Yes. And I'm actually seeing it very clearly weaving around us. I've just been scribbling a doodle about it, but it's just like weaving all through us and around us. And everything you've all said has, has just made sense with this picture. How it's Could you, could you show us the doodle? Oh, it's a very small. Let me let me enhance it a bit, and then I'll show you because I'm trying to do it in 3D. Then I'll show you. Okay, I, I felt like Avril that that you may really do something for your gallery. Out yeah, of that, possibly. As you were talking, even before you said you were doodling, I just wanted you to share. I just wanted to share that with Thank you. Thank you. I just posted that um, image of the woman with the uh, uh, train of glory coming down out of her heart on the messenger. I think I got it. And I'd love to see <laughs> what Avril's come up with. I don't see it. I don't see it, Barbara. It, it might. Does it take a while to get there because it's an image? I no, just, I just posted one of the Aurora Borealis that looks like the hem of a garment that my friend sent me a couple of days ago and said this reminded me of you it's beautiful but it's just exactly kind of what but it just went through right away and I didn't see yours yet so okay. Ooh, that is pretty isn't that beautiful Ooh, that's yeah. gorgeous mm -hmm. no I don't see it either I wonder why on messenger you don't see it Barbara 
I see hers. I don't see the one I just sent you. Oh, okay. That hmm. image, Jessica, is exactly what I was seeing. Wow. wow. Really? Exactly you saw what I thought. That's exactly I what I'm that. trying to draw at the moment. Yeah. Oh my That's exactly there you what go. I'm trying to draw. Cardiogenosis. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes. When you said it, I saw it and I went, hey, I have a picture of that. Oh. <laughs> But it's weaving in around us and it's it's affecting us and it's bringing us glory and it's leading us and it's opening us. It's do, doing things that we don't even know. We can't even imagine. Oh, my word. The Lord's been reverberating that the word. The eye has not seen, the ear has not heard what God has prepared in advance for those who love him. Wow. No eye is, no eye is heard, seen, no ear is heard. You know that scripture, it's like 2 Corinthians, or I'll find yeah. it and I'll post it. He's been speaking that to me all day long. Ooh, cool. Because they're just constructs. Yes, they're just constructs, and he's not and, and, limited. And you, you got the doctor my eyes, right? Yeah. That's sort of, yeah, of course you did. <laughs> yeah. yeah, she put a little note in the in our chat there. I just got the image on the messenger now. Okay. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Yes, ma'am. That's good. Put those two together. You know, if we're going through the cosmos and leaving our train behind. Woo! Mm -hmm. Thank you for sharing that, Barbara. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. I thought that fit with what we were talking about. Yeah. Yes. What do they call those trains? You know, the um, vapor trains that the airplanes leave behind in the sky? The chemtrails? Yes. <laughs> but we are leaving glory trails in the, glory. In the cosmos. That yeah, are going to yeah. overcome the chemtrails in the atmosphere. <laughs> That's good. Ooh, as that light can actually change the chemicals in those vapor in those chemtrails. Mm. That's a. It's a different sense of being. We're going to be light, and we do not understand that yet. Oh, it to be light because Jesus is here now. Christ is here now, but we can't see. So most of the Christian world doesn't know that he's here now. Yes, he is here. Right, now. right. I don't know if I said that clearly, but you did. Thank you for saying that. Woo. <laughs> And do you mind uh, putting what you read off to us out of that book in our chat on Messenger? I'll be glad. And then maybe the picture of the book, the front cover. Thank you. Nancy, do you know any more about um, us being light, light beings? What that's, I'm trying to conceive of. We don't that, know. We, I mean, is, there's so much we, that we yeah. don't yet understand about it. I just, I just wondered if there was any, just another crumb. Oh. A nugget. Another yeah. nugget. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I would, I would, I would also, also, Ian explains that the best. Ian Clayton slowed down light. I don't know. Sped up light. I don't know. I don't, I don't know the science of it, but um, Ian to me does really listen to him in years but okay he talks he about seen it. Explain. yeah okay we can check it out with him then Ian's well, actually well, he started, find it. He, he's experienced when he actually his body illuminates and like okay. Tom's figures he's actually experienced that Okay, it's like Moses when his 
face shown. Only yeah, it's whole body. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. And that's where it comes in, what I was mentioning earlier, that when I said rest makes you shiny. <laughs> yes, I love that, Eva. That is yeah. so cool. It makes us want to be in rest a lot more, doesn't it? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Woo. It's like empowering of the light is going to empower the words. Oh, so, yeah. Because when, when we speak, we actually create what we speak. Okay. And we create the very energy or the frequency of the light that's in us. If it's a low thing, we're creating something low. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yes. I and so... It's it's going to it will impact the 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 word that we speak and the power of the word that we speak. Wow. That's the way amazing. that I the way that I understand a portion, just something the Lord's um, been something I'll I'll share it too because I wrote something on it. I was going to put that on my blog next, but it was it's about this Holy Spirit being the illuminator. Mm -hmm. He's the illuminating light and we've become one with him. And so the more revelation you receive from Holy Spirit, the lighter, quote unquote, light, the more mm -hmm. illuminated your spirit becomes. Um, okay. it, it, from, I mean, like I said, that's a fraction because I know, I, I believe what Jill said is, is so vast that we haven't right. really, um, I heard Brandon say, I think it was in yesterday's thing about Jesus blood isn't, isn't red anymore. It's it's crystal right. it's crystal it's Ooh. it's like the crystal sea is his blood it's mm. and so there's a place where we uh are transforming right we're being transformed by the renewing of our mind by the washing of the word the word is alive mm -hmm. and active and so the more our spirit not our brain not our mind it our our spirit illuminates the mind right but yes. but out of, outside of the spirit just trying to have knowledge it, it doesn't bring fruit, but the but yeah. being in the spirit, like when you were talking about earlier, so it's like that illumination of the spirit, revelation, daily bread, which is like manna, right? Mm -hmm. The manna, the, right. the food for our spirit, is what is transforming us. And when you're transformed, you become like Jesus, the transfigured, right? Yeah. Bill Johnson said the transfigured mind is the fully created mind. And so what comes next is it goes through the layers and our body can actually be transfigured because there's so much light within the body is just a tent. You guys it just takes orders. It just takes yeah. whatever we believe, whatever we're transforming into our body is just going to follow. I've learned this for years in massage so that just from the Lord, like our body is really, truly just taking orders. That's why it's so powerful. What we believe. Yeah. That's why the word of God's in what is it, Philippians 4 9, you know, it says, think on things that are noble and good and right and just. That's for our benefit. It's right. just like mm -hmm. what Lauren was saying earlier. It's like the more that we focus on the good and right, we're such powerful beings that what we focus on, the power of God, the energy, the energy of God goes to that thing. So make sure what you're thinking and pondering and meditating on is good, right? Like, you know, because the power of God is going towards that to intensify it. So you don't want your problems intensified and you don't want, yes, yes. That, you know, so, um, but, I mean, that's just a, a fraction of it, but um, the light comes from Holy Spirit, the illuminator, who is seven spirits, who are the seven colors of the rainbow yes. that all together make the white light. So, mm -hmm. Revelation knowledge really transforms us. That's what happened to Jesus, right? The Mount of Transfiguration. Yes, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. yeah. It was the first mm -hmm. thing that the Lord spoke to me last year when I came into this new awakening and understanding. The first scripture that he asked me to look at was the Mount of Transfiguration. Wow. And he put that together with me with incarnation. And so I looked up, okay, what do these words mean? Where is it at in the scripture to get a base to start building from that? And it's still building. It's vast. Mm -hmm. Transformation. And what was the second word? Transfiguration and, and incarnation is God and in God and man. Yeah. God and man. Those were the two things that he had me like start with of understanding. Uh -huh. Yeah. 
Wow. Sure. So we that's the resurrection. That's the resurrection body, isn't it? Transfigured I mean, body, resurrection body. I believe is different. But is he, it? I believe it is. But uh, Mount okay. Transfiguration didn't that wasn't that before he ascended? Yeah, before yes. the resurrection. Right. Or was it after? No, it was after. It's the it's before. the fully trans. Was oh, it maybe after. No, I'm it was up. before. Jessica, yeah. the transfiguration yeah. on the mount was before. That's what I, yeah. Um, the mount transfiguration was, happened right before he went to the cross. Right, right. Uh, it, I think it, was, he was, it was when he was praying and they was like, can you not carry, carry one hour? And uh, that's, that's a, a full watch is what he meant. That, that's four, actually four hours in so, one watch. And uh, after, when he was in I, his meditation and his, his prayer, that's when he transfigured the, you know, in the middle of his, his praying. But we will learn. Which My is, point is, is that we, 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 we will learn how to do that. Mm -hmm. But I just, just see that, you know, by, by our will. Yes. Yeah. You know, but that's why a lot of the yoga people like to tap into stuff. It's like we're talking about truth is truth, regardless whether they understand where the truth come from they tap into all this healing and all this changing their atmospheres and changing this and changing that because they're meditating on it and, mm -hmm. and when you when you think on these things you, you no matter whether they, they believe in buddha this that and the other it, it's still truth right so truth That's is right. always going to prevail no matter no matter who, who who's doing it i mean i'm not saying these guys are going to hell or heaven or any of that that ain't my place to judge but what I'm saying is that, that no matter who's operating in truth, you're still operating in real truth. And when you have real truth, guess what? You will have manifestations of it. Yeah. Ooh. I was just thinking that the transfiguration body is when his mortal body was filled with the glory to empower him to uh, carry the suffering of the uh, cru crucifixion. Woo. I mean, that's the power of the energy of the light that God wants to put in us for our, our future. It's energy. already there. We just got to learn how to get it out. Right. Okay. Well, it He's took already given weeks. us all things, all things that pertain it's to life, there. godly living. Yes. That took two witnesses, though, on the Mount of Transfiguration for Jesus to manifest it so that his disciples could see it. So it has something to do there was with the disciples no, after was, they seen it. That was the doing Thank away. Thank you, Lord, of for allowing the, us to see this. That was the doing away of the prophets, and it was the fulfillment. They were it, the, all the right. fulfillment was in Jesus. Was the glory that He was carrying was fulfilling that. Yes. Yeah, that it was no longer about the Old Testament, and it was no longer about the prophets. That He was the fulfillment of all that, and then God spoke at that time and said, "This is my Son. Listen." to him right and what god yeah. says is all truth can be validated by two witnesses is right I mean. he had three he took three of his disciples with him to see this peter james and john yeah i was the mouth of two witnesses let everything be established or let it i think it's let everything be confirmed what it means i was seeing that the witnesses you know, that, of Moses. That, that, yeah and it's funny i'm sorry go ahead mm -hmm. Moses and, Eli and uh, Elijah were the witnesses from heaven, and the disciples were the witnesses on earth. Yep. One was past and the other was future. So, I mean, so it was all, all time was covered there with his glory. Yeah, I would say there's many meanings in that. I would say there's so many meanings in that that we haven't even tapped into it yet. Yeah. That, that, I mean, just so many different things that we, he, we can pull from that. That's, yeah. That was, that was something that they don't you don't see every day. Many layers. <laughs> he changed into his glory. They, he showed that he revealed to them who he really was. And like I agree with whoever said it before, uh, the main thing was that the law, the prophets, and, you know, because in the fullness of the book, I come in the fullness of the book. And that is the fullness of the book, the law and the prophets. Exactly. And uh, that was it all coming together in one place. What and I God just confirming it. What I just saw is, you know, I said earlier that 
the scripture says that all the earth will be covered with his glory. And that was the first fruit of the earth being covered with his glory. Ah, when he was on the mountain, you know, it probably shone and illuminated the whole earth at that point. <laughs> but ah, in our day, it's like as we become illuminators, like Avril was saying, and become, or Nancy, I think you were the one that said it, as our bodies become transfigured by this light and we become transfigure uh, illuminators that is wherever we go, we're going to be covering. I mean, God's going to raise up enough people that he'll cover the whole earth with the glory through us, through our transfiguration and walking in his light as he is in the well, light. It says the earth groans, the earth groans for the sons of God, you know, to come into their fullness. And I believe it's more revelation now with science, with all the information out there. I mean, you can actually read real time Hebrew in an English trans in an English version too. I mean, it's it's uh, so much information out there and so much uh, knowledge. And you know, my people perish for a lack of knowledge. So, I mean, if we 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 lose the knowledge, it's it's our fault because we got it's it's there for the taking. It's like we were talking about, you don't throw the babies out with the bathwater. You can you can absorb a lot of stuff from a lot of people in a lot of different ways and, and bring it all into one big, uh, one happy little just revelation of, of so, from so many different areas now. So I've been getting it here lately a lot. I mean, cause I mean, we're, we're, we're sons of God. That just blows my mind. We're, uh, we're the right. son of God. I want to uh, point out just one thing, and I and it's truly because I would love for you guys to ponder on this. And I know we're we're getting over time, so it may be a continued conversation on our feed. But the Lord had brought me to Matthew fifteen, sixteen, and seventeen a couple like a week and a half ago, and it was about the transfiguration, which was one of this book says six days later. But so it, anyway. Um, the, the transfiguration came, I, I so the Lord asked me to look at what happened before the transfiguration, because what was leading up to that? What was he teaching them? What was he trying to get to them? And I found it mm -hmm. interesting that he said, who do they say I am, right? Mm -hmm. When they asked the disciples, well, who do you say I am? And that's when he told Peter, your, you know, your, your new name is rock, because he, he had the revelation that 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 Jesus was the son, the son of the yeah. anointed one, right? The mm -hmm. son of God. But he switches this, he switches it and talks about son of man. And what I learned last year is anytime it talks of son of man, now I have to perk my ears up because it's talking about me. So son of man means us. So Jesus is teaching us what we look like as a vessel filled with God incarnation here. That's what his whole purpose was. He came and he taught us what that looked like. If you've seen me, you've seen the father. So that's our yeah. trans. It, that's what we're transforming into right and so yeah. as sons of god but we're when it says son of man that's that's what that's what relates to us and he he changed the dialogue at the end and i so i, was, I went back to all my notes because i i haven't fully um written this up you know i told you guys i don't write in the normal blog way so it takes me a while to put something out like together but he says um he says uh it, I'll be very brief because I know we need to go. Um, Jesus already established with Peter and the disciples. He is the anointed one, the son of the living God. But now he goes on to refer him to himself as the son of man. Um, in Matthew 16, at the end there, it has, um, he, it has been decreed that I, the son of man, will one day return with my messengers and in the splendor and majesty of my father. And then I re will reward each person according to what they have done. But I promise you, he's talking to the three disciples that were up there at the transfiguration. There are some standing here now who won't experience death until they have witnessed the coming of the son of man in the presence and the power of the kingdom realm of God. And it, at the time I wrote, this is about transfiguration, but I went on to read and I went back and I went, wait a minute, this is about the resurrection. But as I'm reading it now, as we're all talking, because the next thing is Matthew 17, which is the transfiguration. And Matthew says it was six days later. Luke says, I think eight days after um, that experience or whatever. Um, but but what I don't, under, like what I'm trying to understand. So it says, um, uh, he, he talks about the, you know, what happened with the whole radiance, um, the transfiguration. And then after that, um, 
uh, the Lord said, this is my son in whom I delight, focus on him, listen to him. Um, they were dazed and terrified by this phenomenon and they fell face down to the ground. But Jesus walked over and touched them saying, get up and stop being afraid. When they finally opened their eyes and looked around, they saw no one else there, but Jesus. And what we already established, God was teaching them about the old Testament, the prophets that had culminated in Jesus. Um, mm -hmm. He was all they needed to listen to now. So as they all hiked down the mountain together, Jesus ordered them, don't tell anyone of the divine appearance you've just witnessed. Wait until the son of man is raised from the dead. Mm. So there's a lot of multiple meaning in that because we've all been awakened and raised from the dead, right? Yeah. Out of our dead works and put into the glorious light of the son of God. So we it's were raised like, from the dead on the cross. Yes, yeah. yes, absolutely. <laughs> Ab absolutely. That's what I'm saying is, is when we believe we became all that. So it's, there's so much deeper meaning in all that yeah. because it's like, <laughs> don't tell anyone of this divine appearance you just witnessed wait until the son of man is raised from the dead and then i wrote why not the anointed one the son of god no he clearly stated son of man that the power of god would be displayed through his earthly substance of the son of man and so that relates to us now and i just wanted to point i just wanted you guys to really just if anyone feels led to dig any deeper into this of what it might be saying and ask the lord uh, maybe we could ascend together on it because I think they're there for he's taking us to that place. But even the conversation we're having tonight about being transfigured, being transformed, the glory is all around us. It's swirling in and out of us. The way we believe and think and recreate new endings will transform the past. It will heal people. It'll cause forgiveness, the ministry reconciliation. So all those things are the maturing of the sons, right? Yeah. Yes. will transfigure us into glorious more glorious light that will eventually i believe bring us to a place i mean look at ian clayton's been walking in the glory for 30 plus years i mean i'm not expecting to be there tomorrow i've only been you know it's only been a short period of time for me but and it is a transformation but i just i just um he's all of it it, it seems all these years i've always looked at it to be what happened with jesus but now mm -hmm. with this new understanding, even just, you know, last year going forward, all of that has to do with me. So I just, mm -hmm. I, you know, I'm seeing the whole Bible, obviously very different, you know, everything I read, I look at it, what's what we're capable of, because we are u unified with him. We're one with yes, him, yes. his glorious light. You know, mm -hmm. we are light beings. We are life giving spirits who are light. We're no longer our body. Our body's just a tent. It's just, you know it's it's the temple of the holy spirit um but it's only the temple because the holy spirit's within you know yeah and yeah. so anyway um and i think it has to do with righteousness and purity and all that as well which we received as well when we received mm -hmm. we were returned to right. innocence so right. i don't Jessica. know i don't know if i'm making any sense but <laughs> yes you want to Jessica? close you want to yeah. close this up barbara Oh, yeah, I have one other thing. Just check sure. out Daniel uh, 713 for a new, okay. de a, a broader definition of the Son of Man from the book of Daniel. Okay. Because okay. He, he appears before the Ancient of Days. And I think maybe that's what we need to okay. investigate. Okay. You know, and Thank consider you. Moses. Moses they could they couldn't recognize him. They couldn't see right. his light. Consider Enoch. Mm -hmm. this consciousness is what we're meant to come into yeah Christ yes. and that's what it says about moses he was in the fading glory we're in the eternal glory exactly we're in the ever -increasing exactly, glory. exactly ever increasing yeah. oh i yeah. have to say this y'all before we close glory to god the people that were so cutting up i was falling in the lady's lap they're coming tomorrow and bringing oh. the watermelon <laughs> Hallelujah! Oh. <laughs> Amen. That's a testimony right there. Yeah. Glory yeah. To God. Thank you, thank you, Mandy. <laughs> Didn't scare him off too much. <laughs> Let the Lord be the Lord, man. <laughs> yes. Oh, thank you, Lord. Maybe yes. it's because <laughs> woo, we were praying tonight to be yes. transformed. Yeah, it was. Mm -hmm. yeah. Ooh, open the door for him. Thank you, Lord. Okay, you want me to close now? Yes, please. Thank you. Father, we just thank you for what you've introduced us into tonight about the transfiguration of your light 
and us becoming illuminators of your glory. Father, we just ask for more uh, revelation, as Jessica said, the daily bread, our manna, that we would be faithful to receive all that you have for us each day so that we can begin to be filled uh, and transformed by this glory that you're giving us and you're pouring out right now. And we just see on what we've done tonight, Father, in power of your Holy Spirit. We ask that you would just continue to multiply it and uh, create all that you choose to do with what we have done together, Father, that ooh, multitudes would be fed off of just the hours we spent with you tonight. So we just glorify your name. <laughs> I don't know what else to say except That's hallelujah. Perfect. Hallelujah. Uh, hallelujah. <laughs> Thank you, Barbara. <laughs> Amen. Thank Beautiful. you, Lord. This is wonderful. Ooh.